Today, the U.S. Supreme Court is set to open its new term without a ninth justice in place. The court will convene for a public session at 10 a.m. where the justices will hear two one-hour oral arguments. This comes as the confirmation battle over Brett Kavanaugh moves on. The FBI has one week to complete its newly reopened background investigation into the Supreme Court nominee. And despite a compromise between Republicans and Democrats that helped restart the process, the two sides continue to spar over Kavanaugh's nomination. CBS 4's Laura Podesta has the latest. That I did either. I just knew that. Uh, we couldn't move forward. Republican Senator Jeff Flake explained to 60 Minutes why he sided yeah, with Democrats yeah, when he pushed to reopen the FBI right. background check into Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. And you're telling all women that they don't matter. What uh, I was seeing, experiencing in an elevator and watching it in committee and just thinking this is ripping our country apart. Yesterday, the FBI interviewed Deborah Ramirez, one of three women who've accused the judge of sexual misconduct in the 1980s. Then you're prepared for an FBI investigation? They don't reach conclusions. You reach the conclusion. No. Kavanaugh denies all the allegations against him. It's not meant to be a fishing expedition. This can't become a fishing expedition. The White House was adamant it won't micromanage the process. The Senate is dictating the terms. Uh, they laid out the request and we've opened it up. But Democrats are concerned they're limiting the investigation's scope. But they cannot say, oh, hey, only interview the people in their neighborhood on one side of the street or only interview people from a certain period of their life. This could be a blessing in disguise. President Trump says the FBI has free reign. If Judge Kavanaugh is shown to have lied to the committee. Nominations over? Oh, yes. I would think so. The Senate begins debate on Kavanaugh's confirmation vote this afternoon. Laura Podesta, CBS News. According to Christine Blasey Ford's attorney, she has not yet been contacted by the FBI, despite repeated attempts to speak with them. And as the investigation continues, people from Kavanaugh's past continue to come forward, but with conflicting accounts of the person that they knew in high school and in college.